That was all kinds of fuckery. Here at Roll Range this weekend, uh, fuck me. One more time, come here. Count me in. Hey, what's going on guys? Casey Hildreth here with Cloud Defensive. Uh, we're here at Royal Range. If you guys are local to Nashville, come here. If you're not local to Nashville, travel here. This place is a fantastic facility and the staff is even better. So thanks to Royal Range. Guys, what we're gonna talk about today is some rifle illumination techniques. Um, we're going to present the rifle into gun target line from whatever carry configuration that we're in. But we're gonna present from depressed muzzle, high ready, low ready, and a modified low ready. So the only thing that really changes is we are manipulating a switch in order to illuminate the target. Now, why are we illuminating targets? So the reason being is one, in a low light situation, we wanna get a positive identification. Is that target actually a target? Secondarily, that target is immediately disoriented, especially from the output from this cloud defensive light. And thirdly, we're gonna make the decision to decisively engage. Now, obviously we're going to decisively engage every time because we're getting the reps. So all that said, let's get to it. All right, guys, let's talk about equipment a little bit first. So um, on this Bravo Company rifle here, um, I have cloud defensive light, unity switch, right? The thing about the switch, the light itself, I wanna ensure that those things are accessible and easily identifiable, okay? So we have a constant on and a temporary on here and I can reach those switches no matter which hand I am running the rifle with. I'm not a huge fan of swapping the position of the rifle, but in the event that you need to, you wanna make sure that those things are accessible from both sides. In addition to that, make sure that if you do wear gloves when you're running your rifle and whatnot, that those things are identifiable uh, with the type of gloves that you're running. So as it pertains to getting the rifle onto gun target line and illuminating the target for identification purposes. When do I want to illuminate that target, right? So let me just demonstrate really quickly with the lights on. So if I have my rifle in the high ready configuration and I am presenting it into gun target line, do I want to illuminate from here, sweeping down into the target line and pressing, identifying, then pressing my rounds off? The answer to that is no, why? One, I've given my position away. Two, I have a signature, a visible signature on me, closely located to center line, and I don't want to increase my exposure, right? Surprise is speed, surprise, violence of action. Surprise being super important, right? So that said, I want to position my hand in a manner where I'm prepared to illuminate once the rifle is on gun target line. So. That configuration for me personally is here. I press out into gun target line, illuminate the target. As soon as the engagement is complete, I'm off and back into whatever configuration the environment dictates, right? Um, from the depressed muzzle, same thing. If this is the position that I'm oriented in, coming into target line, and I'm just raising that rifle into my line of sight, illuminating the target, identifying, decisively engaging and then off, right? And again, from the low ready, from here, gun into gun target line, illuminating, identifying, decisively engaging. All right guys, so what we're gonna do now with the lights on is I'm gonna rehearse stationary all of the positions, the carry positions that I'll be presenting the rifle into the gun target line from. Uh, also while manipulating the switch to illuminate the target, making a mental note of the decision point for kind of building that, that mental, that neural pathway during the engagement, acknowledging that decision point and then decisively engaging the target since we are here to rehearse, right? Um, those positions that I'll be uh, presenting from are high ready, off shoulder, depressed muzzle, low ready, and then a, a modified low ready. This is my preferred training method when I'm doing anything where I'm gonna introduce anything uh, an environmental factor being manipulation of lights. I wanna do it in the daytime or in a visual uh, setting where I can see what's going on. Because if I run into anything at that point, I wanna have an opportunity to shake it out now before I'm doing something out there in the dark and potentially unsafe. 
All right, guys, so at this point, we've rehearsed everything that we're going to do in a low to no light environment. So let's go ahead and get these lights shut off and see what we got. So we just ran the drill lights out. Remember, if you're going to train this, make sure that you do it in a high visibility manner first before you go to low to no light conditions. In that drill, make sure that you make the mental space for that decision point. What you don't wanna do is get in the bad habit of illuminating the target and then just going to work, right? Create that mental space, especially if you carry this thing for a living. Um, I hope all of that helps you guys out. I hope it progresses your capability and confidence in handling and, and implementing these tools into situations. Thanks for your support. Look forward to seeing you guys down the road. Look out for our training plan coming out soon and more videos. Thanks guys. I can sing you a song. What would you do if I sang out of tune?